so today we will discuss this uh, uh, algorithm which is called rsa which is named after these three people uh, rai west shamir and edelman so this algorithm is most common uh, asymmetric key algorithm okay so we call it rsa in short form so this is the procedure of uh, generating the key because i told you in previous class that uh, the algorithm uh, of uh, you know asymmetric key cryptography they have three processes in 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 them one is uh, the key generation uh, second is encryption and the third one is decryption so this process is uh, these whole steps are for key generation part right so we 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 start with the generating two keys uh, the public and the private key so each user in the community will be generating these two keys which we call at call as the key pair right so we start with the uh, selecting these two prime numbers randomly and we name them as p and q then we compute n which will be equal to p into q so here we have to see this thing now uh, in in the last class also i told you that you know uh, finding out the uh, finding out the left part of the expression if you have all the values for the right part of the expression is easy but the other way round is difficult so if you have the values of p and q it is very easy for us to calculate the value of n so that is why we start uh, by choosing the value of p and q we never choose the value of n and then we factor it okay we never go this way so we will be finding out the value of p and q then we will be multiplying it and we will find another value which we call as n so this value of n we will be using in further steps so now we will be finding out the value of phi n so phi n uh, is you know this is the totient function so n is here p into q so totient function hum log kaise calculate karte hain we write as p minus q into q uh, sorry p minus 1 into q minus 1 so we will be finding out this uh, value of phi n over here in this third step right then what do we do we select a random encryption key which we represent as e right and the value of e should be between 1 and phi n it should be greater than 1 and it should be less than phi n and it must also satisfy this condition so the value of e and the value of phi n they must be co primes okay so their gcd must be equal to 1 then we will find out the value of d now e is the encryption key and d is the decryption key right so that will be the public key and this will be the private key okay so this this value will be given to everyone in the community and this value will be kept by the receiver only so this d will be the inverse of e okay which we have uh, chosen over here in the previous step so inverse uh, for for uh, you know finding out inverse we have this condition okay so the multiplication of uh, this uh, uh, number which is e and its inverse which we are calling as d must be equal to 1 mod phi n so the, the, the value must be congruent to 1 1 mod n 1 mod phi n right and d the the value of d must be between 0 and n okay so jab hum isko calculate karenge jo value hai wo 0 aur n ke beech mein hi aayegi right so that is how we we find out the value of public key and the value of private key now what do we do we have both the keys with us so we publish the public encryption key and we keep the private decryption key as a secret so this public key will be given to everyone and this private key will be kept by the receiver only right so everyone uh, everyone in the community uh, will be having this public key of uh, uh, of every other person in the community and uh, uh, 
say for example user a wants to uh, send a message to user b so user a will be using the public key of user b to encrypt that message and will send this me that message to user b then user b will be using its own private key which it has to decrypt that message so this is the whole process the whole idea of asymmetric key cryptography and this is the key generation process in rsa right now we have generated the key now we have to perform the encryption and the decryption process okay so first of all we'll be performing the encryption so we have again uh, we, we again have um, an expression for that uh, using which we can find out the value of cipher text so this is um, this is how uh, now you can see here this is the sender this is the receiver okay and they are communicating this part we'll talk later um ki uh, kaise intercept and interceptor isko intercept kar sakta hai so this is the expression which is used to encrypt the message so uh, uh what do we do we have this value of n from the first process the key generation process we have the value of e and we have the value of plain text with us right so we can calculate the cipher text using this e mode n now maine aapko previous class mein bhi bataya tha we will be using huge powers in rsa so that is why we have just learned uh, that how do we calculate these huge powers right this which will be used to uh, to to encrypt the message now this message is being encrypted as you can see using e this small e which is the public key okay we can see from here this is the encryption key and e is there in the public encryption key right and d is the private decryption key fine so uh, the 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 sender will be using the public key of the receiver to encrypt the message now the message will be sent to the receiver uh, the receiver will be receiving it and will be decrypting it now after decryption it will get the plain text back and it will be using this cipher text which it has uh, you know got from the sender the c this is the cipher text and it is using its private key you can see it from here it is using its own private key to uh, decrypt the message this these expressions you have to remember these formula you have to remember which which we are using for encrypting and decrypting the messages right and we have to see we have to take care that the message which is to be sent which is p okay the plain text which we are sending it must be smaller than the modulus n this thing we have to keep in our mind right so uh, that is uh, how this rsa works so this is the 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 complete uh, process of uh, complete process of rsa which shows you the key generation part then the encryption part and then the decryption part uh, all in in one diagram right so bob is generating the key by selecting pq then uh, by calculating n and then uh, finding out phi n and then selecting e and d then this public key is uh, is uh, it is it is sent to everyone in the community right it is being sent to everyone now when let's want to uh, send a message to bob it will be using its public key using the same expression now this expression is done in an uh, in uh, this ring okay the value of c for it will be into this ring only and the value of this plain text will be into this ring and the key calculation will be into this group so these things we do not need to bother about this is just for you know telling you that uh, th this will be the limit of uh, the values of uh, plain text cipher text and the key so that is again we are using the same expression for ciphering and deciphering the message राइट तो इसके अंदर जो एग्जांपल्स हमारे पास होंगे जो क्वेश्चंस होंगे उसमें हमारे पास ये सारी वैल्यूज की वन होंगी राइट 
P key value, E key value, uh, or D key value, you have to calculate because that is the inverse of E, so which we can calculate. Okay, so most of the values will be given, and if any value is not given, we can assume that value being in that range. Fine. So I'll show you some examples as well. कि कैसे हम इसको calculate करते हैं. So these are the same things which I was telling you. कि जो encryption और decryption है, वो इस ring में होगा. And key generation group ये वाला रहेगा हमारे पास, right? And it is simply telling you uh, that uh, uh, this is this will be the public key and uh, d d or we can write it as d n as this combination so we represent it as the private key now this is the pseudo code for uh, key generation so these are the same steps which uh, uh, we have discussed in the previous uh, slides isme bhi hum log yahi kar rahe hain do prime number choose kiya aur uh, choose kiye aur fir we have calculated n then phi n then we have selected e then we have uh, calculated d which is the inverse of e then we have with us the public key and the private key right and this is the encryption part okay encryption we are doing with the plain text the public key okay this is the public key part so with the uh, with the, with the help of these three values we are encrypting the message using this expression then we have the decryption part we are using the cipher text and the private key okay for decrypting the message using this expression now this is the example uh, in which we are given that uh, bob uses 7 and 11 because bob is the receiver so uh, generation uh, sorry the key generation process will be the responsibility of bob बॉब अपनी पब्लिक की और प्राइवेट की जनरेट करेगा और पब्लिक की को पब्लिसाइज करेगा एंड प्राइवेट की इट विल बी कीपिंग विद इट्स सेल्फ तो बॉब चूज इज सेवन इलेवन एस पी एंड क्यू सो नाउ वी हैव द वैल्यूज ऑफ पी एंड क्यू विद अस देन वी कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन एस सेवेंटी सेवन बिकॉज एन इज पी इन टू क्यू द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव एन विल बी पी माइनस वन इन टू क्यू माइनस वन सो इट विल गिव यू सेवन माइनस वन इन टू इलेवन माइनस वन विच इज सिक्सटी So now he chooses two exponents e and d. If he chooses e to be thirteen, then d is thirty-seven. So here in this example, this value of d is already given. Otherwise, we can find out its uh, its inverse, right? For for mode seventy-seven, right? So note that this e d mode sixty is equal to one, which means they are inverses of each other that condition must must hold true okay so that we have seen many times ki multiplicative inverse or uh, sorry ek number aur uska multiplicative inverse uh, jis mode ke against hum wo find out karte hain unko agar hum multiply kare they will give you the value 1 so they are congruent to one mode n now alice wants to send the plain text 5 to bob now this is a plain text which alice wants to send bob so alice will be using the public key of bob for sending this message for encrypting this message so she will be using the public exponent 13 encrypt 5 okay so this is plain text and this is the public key of bob which we can see from here e is 13 right so what we will simply do we will be simply putting up the Uh, values into the expression which we have, and then we will be finding out the value of C for X, right? So, in this, here we have this five raised to thirteen. So, simply factorization. We will see if Euler theorem or uh, uh, Fermat theorem, if we can apply, we will apply that. Otherwise, we will go with the factorization, right? The next Bob will be receiving this C for X twenty six and will use its private key, which is thirty seven. Which we take from here to decipher decipher the cipher text. So again, it will be putting up the values in the given expression which we already have, and will find the value of the plain text. So it must be equal to the message which Alice has sent, which is five. Okay, so we can always verify our answers. So in this case, maybe. यहाँ पे भी देखो पावर जो है वो बहुत ज्यादा छोटी है मोड वाली वैल्यू से इसे मॉडुलस से 
ऑब्वियसली हमें फैक्टराइजेशन ही बना पड़ेगा इसका सो वी कैन गो विद दैट के इन टू फाइव एन प्लस वन इफ अगर वन रिमाइंडर हमारा बच रहा है तो अदरवाइज वी कैन गो विद दैट फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड जो मैंने आपको कल बताया था डबल डबल का मल्टीपल जैसे इसमें पहले ट्वेंटी सिक्स मोड सेवेंटी सेवन फाइंड आउट करो देन ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्क्वेयर मोड सेवेंटी सेवन फाइंड आउट करो देन वी विल फाइंड आउट ट्वेंटी सिक्स रेस टू फोर मोड सेवेंटी सेवन एंड दिस प्रोसेस गोज ऑन और फिर हम पावर्स को एड करके दिस थर्टी सेवन वी कैन फाइंड आउट राइट तो थर्टी सेवन वी कैन फाइंड आउट यूजिंग ट्वेंटी सिक्स रेस टू टू थर्टी टू इंटू ट्वेंटी सिक्स रेस टू फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी सिक्स रेस टू वन Okay, so all these values will be uh, equal to twenty six raised to thirty seven. So instead of multiplying twenty six thirty seven times, we have to find out only these three values, right? So this is one example. This is another example in which uh, uh, we have uh, uh, this John who wants to send a message to Bob. Now John is. Sending the message to Bob. Now, जो Bob की public key है, that is with everyone. So anyone in the community can communicate with Bob. So John can use the same public key announced by Bob, right? So which is thirteen. So previous example में the public key was the value of E was thirteen, right? So John's plain text is sixty three. So John calculates the following now. Okay. So it will be Simply putting up the values in the given expression, okay, which we have p raised to e mod n, right? So it will give you cipher text as twenty eight at the sending end. Then Bob receives this cipher text twenty eight and will use its private key, which is thirty seven, which we have seen in the previous slide, and will be putting the values in this expression and will get the plain text back, right? Now, third example is it, it is uh, Jennifer creates a pair of keys for herself. She chooses P this number and Q this number. Now, in the previous examples, the value of P and Q was small, but to ensure a better security, we have to consider large values for uh, P and Q, and ultimately the value of n will be uh, will be larger, right? Because we are doing multiplication. We are doing n find out. तो so, जितना ज्यादा बड़ा नंबर हम लोग लेंगे जितना बड़ा नंबर हम चूज करेंगे उतनी ही ज्यादा बेटर सिक्योरिटी वी कैन प्रोवाइड राइट सो वी फाइंड आउट दिस फाइव एन विच इज वॉट विच इज पी माइनस वन इन टू क्यू माइनस वन फाइन देन ई इज बींग चूजन एंड डी इज बींग कैलकुलेटेड देन वी हैव टू शो दैट हाउ टेड कैन सेंड अ मैसेज टू जेनिफर इफ ही नोज ई एंड एन ई एंड एन मीन्स If Ted knows the public keys of Jennifer, okay? The public keys ki kya hai? Three forty three, and the value of n is this one, which Jennifer has publicized, right? So suppose Ted wants to send the message no to Jennifer. So हम लोग क्या करते हैं? इसमें integers का use करते हैं, right? Asymmetric की cryptography में. So we will first convert this text message into the integer form. so we will be uh, uh, you know this person ted will be changing each character to a number say for example he uses z from 00 to 25 with each character coded as two two digits so no ke liye n ka jo number hoga aur o ka jo number hoga un dono ko hum log ikatthe uh, uh, likh ke we can send the message so no will be encoded to 13 14 so this will be the value of the plain text right so this this figure shows the whole process so ted is sending no so after encoding it the plain text becomes 13 14 so uh, ted has the public key information of uh, jennifer okay so it can encrypt the message and this is the value of cipher text and jennifer can decrypt the message and it then can Uh, decode the message. So the uh, message which Jennifer has got is no. Right. So this is how this encryption and decryption is done uh, using RSA. So these are the possible attacks on RSA which you people can can go through. Right. Next is Algmal crypto system. 
so this is another uh, uh, algorithm which we can use for implementing asymmetry free cryptography it is named after its inventor which is teher elgamel okay so this is the process so isme bhi hame kya karna hai uh, we will be uh, you know uh, generating the uh, public keys right P uh, public key and the private key so isme public key jo hai that has these uh, three values right so we have we we, we select uh, this p which is a very large prime then we select p1 and we select d2 sorry we calculate d2 using p1 and d that okay d is the private key so we have simply the expressions with us and we'll be having all the values with us if uh, any value is not given we can assume it within the range or we can calculate it using the expressions given so public key will be in the form of this and that uh, will be in this way it will be using e1 e2 and p e. so the cipher text will be calculated in two parts in this right and those two parts will be sent to the uh, sent to the receiver so c1 will be calculated using uh, uh, this expression okay and uh, uh, again c1 will be for once c1 will be calculated using e1 and uh, again c1 will be calculated using e2 both of these values of c1 will be sent to the receiver and receiver will be decrypting the message using this expression you simply have to remember these expressions for uh, finding out uh, uh, or uh, for for uh, uh, you know uh, using this uh, process of algamel cryptosis right so we will we will be doing some examples for this as well this is the key generation process fine uh, that, that is uh, just like rsa we did this is the pseudo code that is the whole process which we have discussed over here that is written in the form of pseudo code in this slide right so here again we are selecting this prime number which, which we call as p then we select d then we select e1 and e2 we are calculating like this using e1 and d then we have public key with us and then we have the private key right so this is the encryption part in which we are calculating c1 here it is being called c1 and c2 okay so c1 and c2 both uh, here it was written wrong yes this is c1 and this is c2 read it as c2 right because these both of these uh, we are uh, using to decrypt the message right so this is the encryption part this is the decryption part fine so here is the example so bob chooses p as 11 e1 as 2 and d as 3 so e2 can be calculated okay e1 raised to d so e1 is 2 and d is 3 so e2 becomes 8 so the public keys will be e1 e2 and p so e1 is 2 e2 is 8 and p is 11 this will be the value of public key and the private key is 3 which is equal to d right now he chooses r uh, uh, now alice chooses r uh, the sender will choose this number randomly okay and calculate c1 and c2 for the plain text 7 so p ki jo value hai that is this one hamare paas r ki jo value hai that is uh, 4 so for plain text Seven. The value of C one will be calculated using this expression. So these are very small numbers taken over here, but actually, uh, while using it um, into uh, practically, we have very large numbers, right? So the C one and C two, which are uh, uh, you know calculated uh, while encrypting the message, are five and six. So Bob will receive the cipher text five and six, and it will simply use these value into these into this expression right so this expression it can be easily solved and uh, we can find out the value of the plain text fine okay now uh, in this this uh, this this particular uh, uh, part which is the inverse of 5 raised to 3 this we can solve uh, using the fermat little theorem using this expression right this one 
so we can uh, we can write it as uh, uh, this value this is 6 okay and because uh, 5 raised to 3 ka agar inverse nikaloge that will be a complex process so we can use this theorem and using this expression so this this uh, formula you have to remember agar koi number ka inverse hame find out karna hai is tarike se so we can write this kind of expression in this form right so yahan pe p ki value we have 11 minus 1 minus d this is the value of d is 3 so hamare paas c value aa jayegi kiski jo hum plane test find out kar rahe hain so ye simply kya ho jayega this will be 11 minus 4 okay so 5 raised to 7 which we can calculate easily right so this is this is how we use this elgamel uh, crypto system to find out uh, or to encrypt or decrypt the message okay so this is uh, uh, this is an example which is using very large number so yes one more point was there so p must be at least 300 digit and r must be uh, new for each encipherment so these are the requirement for LGML crypto system right so here P jo hai, this is Bob uses a random integer of 512 bits. Uh, integer P is a 155 digit number. So the ideal is 300 di digit uh, digit hai. Lekin pe hum log 155 digit use kar rahe hai. So Bob will choose E1, D and calculate E2. So E1 ye hai, D ye hai hamare paas. And E2 will be calculated using these two values, right? Then we will be encrypting the message using uh, the value of E, R and the public key. We will be finding out C1 and C2. This is just, uh, this is just an example to show you, uh, you know, uh, how large numbers we deal with while uh, implementing the asymmetric key cryptography. Okay, then Bob uh, or the receiver will be calculating the plain text. Okay, at the decrypting end so this will be the original message this is the plain text which Alice has sent right so this is all about RSA and LGML crypto system uh, which are uh, which are the two algorithms under asymmetric 